Town of Light. Uh, it's a cold uh, late summer, early fall night. Uh, I've got some Mountain Dew in my hands. i got a warm blanket. And we're going to play a scary game. Um, it's a little slow to start. Uh, I've got the demo going on right now. Um, but the atmosphere is good. It's got that chill on the back of my neck, and that's what I love about a scary game. All right, let's load up with some caffeine. Let's check it on out. So we just got done getting our doll. Can we go down here yet? Nope, that's locked. We got power restored. Our doll is warm. Are you still locked? Yeah, you're still locked. Oh, the light was actually on. Nothing in there. Ooh, what are you? Fluid of something. I don't need those keys. Do anything? You turn on it all now. Excuse me. I kinda wish the game had a run function. Okay. Well. Unless this other door unlocked, I'm heading downstairs. Nothing. Alright. We're going downstairs. Okay. I guess the um, 80 year old air conditioning system turned on. Wait a second. Oh, okay, this is some weird trippy flashback. Nope, I don't really have any control of what I'm doing right now. All I'm doing is push... Um... That's a little weird, but okay. Apparently I'm walking upside down underground. God, this is proportionally weird.
What is this, like Inception? Can I walk on the walls? Nope, I guess not. Uh, excuse me. See, the game does a good job of building up uh, a good horror feel, and then it does this kind of weird crap in the middle that kills that scare buzz in the back of my neck. God, it's so freaking bright. One day I turned off the light, but it didn't go dark. Okay. A limitless immensity, a blinding, merciless light. I was 16 years old, and I was afraid, always afraid. A fear that wore me down. I needed help, but I couldn't speak. I was terrified of everything, even thinking. They said they were taking me to a place where the fear would go away, where I would get better. I stopped living in there. They dragged me away and stripped off all my clothes, everything. I tried to explain what was going on in my head. They tied me to the bed for days. I was alone with my nightmares. It wasn't fear anymore. It was madness. And when you're mad, you cease to exist. Ha! Huh, naked people and scary stuff. She's nice at least. Down, down among the damned. But that woman and her smile kept me alive. Okay. Nice little trip down memory lane into the dusty part of it. How long were you out, lady? Alright, so we're at chapter three. The door is locked from the outside. Here, the doors can only be locked and unlocked from the outside. Uh, excuse me? You can't get out of here. Only the dead can leave this place. Why do I have a feeling that thing that unlocked the door was my doll? Okay, so this is the hallway I went down and had my little acid trip in. Hi! Did I mention I don't like dolls? That hallway getting darker. Oh, lovely. Do 
Huh. I, I guess that's the end of the game, uh, for the demo at least. So, um, I'm gonna talk over the singing in the background so I don't get some copyright strikes. So, guys, if you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. Huh. I don't know. I might get it. I might play it all the way through. Guys, remember, like always, be like duct tape. Stick to it. Bye-bye! The Asylum. Because I didn't deserve to live. I didn't deserve to be loved. Huh. We'll have to find out out. Bye, guys!